In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to enable and configure the social meta aspect. No, that's wrong. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to activate and configure the social meta option within the all-in-one SEO pack. You can see here, I'm starting off in the WordPress dashboard, which is also where you'll need to be. And I'm in the feature manager area of the all-in-one SEO pack. From there, I just need to simply click activate on social meta. And shortly after we do that, it becomes an option in the menu over on the So we're just going to click on that now. So all of these settings that you see here are related to the Facebook open graph meta tags that can be added to your website. Now, if you're not too sure what those are, don't worry about it too much, but you will need a Facebook page associated for your website if you are going to actually go through and use this. So the first option we have is to use the all-in-one SEO title and description, which I strongly suggest that you do enable. Uh, what it will do is use the title and description that you've specified in the all-in-one SEO pack settings rather than what's actually defined as the site name and site title. The next setting is for the profile admin's ID. So what it would be is facebook.com slash username. Well, with of course HTTPS at the front. So you just need to make sure you find out what yours is so you can input that appropriately. The next setting is the site name. So you wanna make sure that this is about your website uh, then the next setting that we have is the ability to disable the jetpack tags which I strongly suggest you actually do because jetpack will try and put in its own open graph meta tags which can cause problems. The next setting is about auto generating open graph descriptions. I suggest leaving this on so it will just obviously automatically generate the descriptions for the open graph meta tags. Next, we can choose the open graph image source. Now, you can use the default image, the featured image, obviously that only applies to posts, pages, and applicable custom post types, uh, whether you want the first attached image in the content and so on. We're just gonna leave it as the default image, which is defined here, as you can see. Though, of course, you can replace this as you see fit. Next, you can actually choose to use a custom field to the image, so when you're on a post or a page, uh, down the bottom, there's an area for custom fields. So you actually create one through here or use an existing one uh, in order to define what the open graph image will be. The next setting we have is to define whether the Facebook object type is a blog or a website. In this case, it's just a blog, very simple, but if you have a website that's something other than that, you can of course change it to website. The next setting is regarding the Facebook meta for which post types. So. As you can see here, I've got posts and pages already selected, which is normal, uh, and that's what I should have. Everything else you can see there is not really required. You could use it for media if you wanted, but a lot of what else you see there is just because of the certain plugins and post types that I've got on this website, and of course, what you see will be different. The next two settings are for the posts and pages object type and by default they'll be set to article. Of course you can change them as you see fit depending on if they fit in any of these other object types. But for most people leaving them as article is fine. Finally when you're done you can click update options. And that'll save all of those changes that you've made. There is one more thing that we can explore here, which is the scan social meta. So in the instance that your website has another plugin installed that's also putting out the open graph meta content, you can use this scan feature to try and find if there's anything going on. And as you can see, no duplicate meta tags have been found. So that's all there is to know when it comes to setting up the social meta for the all-in-one SEO pack. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below.